Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to discuss the process of polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. PCR is a method of amplifying small quantities of specific DNA fragments, generating billions of copies, allowing the samples to be studied. The first step in PCR is known as denaturation. The DNA sample is heated to 95 degrees Celsius, which causes the two strands to separate. The temperature is then reduced to 55 degrees Celsius and specially chosen DNA primers anneal to the specific DNA sequences that are being studied. The temperature is then raised to 72 degrees Celsius, which allows TAC polymerase to extend the DNA from the primers and new strands are formed. This process is then repeated. Denaturation, annealing, an extension. This cycle is repeated many times. Two cycles produce four daughter strands, three cycles produce eight daughter strands, four cycles produce 16 daughter strands, and so on. In order to calculate the number of strands hypothetically produced, use the equation two to the power of the number of cycles. Let's try some practice questions. How many copies will be produced after 17 cycles? Pause this video now to test your knowledge. 2 to the power of 17 is 131,072. And a harder one. How many cycles does it take to produce 250 daughter strands? Well, if 2 to the power of x is 250, then algebraic reformulation reveals the number of cycles to be around 8. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.